So as you should know, PowerShell has a commandlet called get help, which allows you to give it other commandlets to find out more information about them. So we have a description, a synopsis, a syntax, but you'll notice that if you put your own commandlets into get help, they won't have any information. How do you add help information to your commandlets so that people can easily learn more about them um, without having to look at a readme or some information online? One of, one of the ways to do it is through comment-based help. And this actually works if you want to add help comments to your script or just to an individual function. So let's look at how to do it for an entire script first. This is actually a valid way to represent um, the help through comments. And you'll notice that I have specific notation that starts with a period and then one of the names for these fields. Now you can't see all the fields, but if you want to see all the different fields that you have access to, you can do get help about comment based help. And if you scroll up through many, many, many lines of code around here, we should find that there are these different um, different descriptors we can use dot parameter dot description dot synopsis and there's even more example inputs outputs notes links so there's all kinds of different help information that you can supply in your scripts and let's just run this and I've created a variable called this script that just points to the script so now I can type get help and I can supply it the location of the script and let's see what happens now so you'll see that now I have a little bit of information populated here because I've identified it above. So my synopsis says what it says up here and so does my description. So script-based comment help can either be at the very start or the very end of your script and it will work the same way. Um, now how does function-based help work? It works exactly the same way. So I can put this inside of the function we'll go ahead and run it and then when I run get help and give it show help you'll see that it has the exact same information as it did before now the function based help does have a couple more rules um, you can have it above the function but you can't have it more than one space away currently this function will absorb these comments as its own comment based help so if you don't want it to be part of it, you have to make sure that there's two spaces in between the comments and the function. And that's important to know because maybe you don't want comments to be part of the function and you accidentally have them too close to the function. Um, it's very possible. So you can have it at the top. Um, not sure what I just did there, but yeah. So you can have it at the top, you can have it inside at the top, and you can have it at the bottom and it's important to have that flexibility because there are other constructors inside PowerShell that need to be in specific places so if you want to add comments but there's something that needs to be at the bottom well then you have the option to put it uh, here at the top or you can put it above the function and that's really all there is to it for comment based help um, there's a bunch of different descriptors you can add and uh, when people type get help and they supply it your file or your function they'll be able to easily learn more about it without having to go outside of PowerShell uh, which is really awesome uh, so that's it comment based help thanks for watching